Part 1. You're saying this for what it is. Speak your truth. Make sure you flip the rolls as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest, okay? And also use the spirit of the sermon as you're viewing this video. I do extended readings over on my YouTube. Subscribe, okay? The link is in my bio. All right, y'all. So the first card that came out was Blossoming Abundance, okay? So <clears throat> here. And then the fifth chakra in the reverse. That's, um, that's around your throat chakra, you guys. I'm going to elaborate more, but just let me get one more card to get this started okay so when it comes to your happiness or your wish fulfillment it's something here that you're not speaking on this card doesn't even belong in the deck but it's something here that you're not speaking on you should okay speak your truth express yourself um definitely you have a block in your throat chakra so you may want to do some energy work there hum sing reiki acupuncture yoga meditation crystals, whatever it is that you can do to get that energy flowing again. Okay. With the second chakra coming out as well, when it comes to your um, intimacy, when it comes to your creativity, you have a, it could be a block there, or you're trying to figure out how you can strategize something here. Okay. And and it's all about getting to your happiness. Okay. So with the blossoming abundance card, again, like I'm, I'm uh, it, it literally is you're expecting something, okay? Or you're waiting for the universe to bless you in some kind of way here because you've been putting in the work. Yeah, so you like, look, <laughs> I want my efforts to pay off, okay? Yeah, you're, you're waiting for something to be revealed to you with the seven of swords in the reverse position. Tell me more about that. Tell me more about this seven of swords, okay? Yep, it's about your new beginning. So it's almost this thing here, like you may have a knowing, Okay, that something is going to happen for you and it's going to come unexpectedly. And um, look, the higher font, when it comes up about commitment or you could be following a certain process here, a spiritual journey, you could be even just committing to yourself, right? But you're not, so you're not speaking on something. What is that? Tell me about the fifth chakra in the reverse, okay? I may have to do a part two, you guys, but you already know how we do, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to an ending, something may have ended here in your life and, and it caused a lot of wounds for you, but you're very clear. You're, you're seeing some things here and you're trying to find some type of solution here when it comes to a masculine energy or you may be that masculine energy here with the eight of swords in the reverse next to the knight of wands. Okay. In the reverse, this person may be just kind of like in and out, non-committal, and it's something there that you need to share. Okay. So look. Part two coming up. Stay tuned. Peace.